Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program with the Duck Plane. Na 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 duck plane. As a user so kindly pointed out, my plane looks like a bloody duck, and I can't ever unsee it. Seriously, goddamn it, ruin this plane forever. So yet, we're gonna make another minimus attempt today. Of course, I have no idea how many by now at this point I plan to air. It's been probably another ten failures, I think, since episode nine or whatever the heck the last time I tried was, so. I have absolutely no idea if or when I am going to be airing it. Let's get the landing gear up. So that way we have some aerodynamics going for us, kinda. And we're over the air, so 90 degrees. Turn and shoot. Seriously though, this rocket, this is, this thing flies like a rocket once you get off the runway. Uh, I really considered hooking the wings up, like onto a uh, detacher thing, so that way once I leave the atmosphere I can just get rid of the wings since they're kind of useless. And they do weigh me down. So, I'm going for the main plan for landing, as always, will be the, uh, come in just as I am now, and then at the last possible second flatten out with the gears deployed. We'll see how it works. And then hopefully we'll survive. So, see you guys for our Minimus injection. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Closely Over Minimus. Facing the wrong direction, I need to roll over. As I attempt to reduce my rate of descent to something much more manageable. There we are. Also, I'm carrying a little too much Delta V. Just gotta ease this in. So we're at 3,000 now, okay, okay, steady, alright, looking good, looking good, god looking at this ground it looks like I'm going to crash in like less than 5 seconds, but I know I've got a little while, I've got to, in order to land properly I need to completely look at the numbers, I can't let, you know, my fear, Talking about fear, I just started my amnesia let's play. And Kerbal Space Program scares me more. It's actually rather worrying for the game. It can't scare me. But this game can. The devs totally did not do their jobs right. Okay. And okay. So, I'm, this is my fear and it's causing me to react badly. Alright, easy, easy, easy. 50 meters, 50, 40, 30, 20 meters. And. Oh! We landed. Holy crap, we landed. Okay, well, we can't stick around. There is no sticking around. Gotta pull up, gotta pull up, gotta pull up and get out of here. We have lost his oxygen panels. We have lost his oxygen panels. I repeat, lost his oxygen panels. We have got to get out of here. Am I on a escape trajectory? Okay. Which should send me on a... Alright, that's good. That should do it, I hope. We are on a incredibly limited supply. Time is of the essence. Screw my fuel supply. It's everything I need is right now. I need full speed. Ah, uh, 
based on my experiences, I've got 30 minutes of, I believe, is oxygen. I think I've got another 30 minutes as they die, and I will slowly lose crew members. So that means I need to probably be out of uh, Minimus in 20 minutes. Okay, and we're good. Fast forward. Oh god, I we don't even have that. Like, we have 15 minutes of oxygen. Like, give or take. Uh, this, this oxygen tank is terrible. I need more. And... We have one living man. Um... Alright, can we get retrograde then? What a terrible fate befalls them. It really, really does. Alright, so I need to fire almost full retrograde. And try and, before he dies, get them on a return orbit. Mechdrip can do the rest, I believe. Which is to say, I just boot up um, landing autopilot and let it do the rest. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I lost this oxygen panel. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so we need a slightly lighter landing by the, by the seams of it. That's the only thing I can think of. Velocity way too high, yeah. Burn off what left there is, and see if I can't bring that into there. Once I have a periapsis uh, into the planet, I fire as quickly as I can at the planet. But I still technically landed on Minimus. But holy crap, those freaking panels are way too fragile. Way too fragile. And this oxygen system doesn't actually give me any real amount of oxygen. It says it's good for an orbital operation. That's complete bullcrap. The thing's not good for orbital ops at all. Alright, so, now I need to, and he smiles, that, that really does mean he's close to death if he's smiling right now. Eesh. Nope, 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 there we are. I don't get what the pur purple reticle means yet, but I'll figure out the rest eventually, I'm sure. And I use the rest of my fuel to burn me on the, I'm not gonna have a, periapsis above the planet, I don't think. Since I'm firing straight down, that should be impossible, right? Keyword should. Alright, no, I do not. And let's see. Nope, he's dead. Long dead. Well, rest in peace, you brave Kerbals. As I lag like hell coming into the atmosphere. Oof. Mech Jeb, disengage. Oh, right, I forget. I actually lose complete control right now. I have Mech Jeb, but I cannot do any more staging, and I cannot. If I had engines, I couldn't actually fire them. Am I gonna hit the water? Maybe. Aim for the lake. 
Oh, no, I'm going to completely miss the lake. I have no idea where my impact site is actually going to be at this point. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, well, the parachute broke off. Looks like their bodies will be completely unrecoverable. I was kind of hoping to... I know that the, I attached the cockpit on fairly steady. But I thought that when re-entering the atmosphere it would break off. Turns out, no. I can reduce some level of speed doing this. But I will be amazed if I can get an actual touchdown. Whoa. When the gears are on, spinning quickly apparently causes my rock to split a bit. Okay, I think I need to add some kind of strut support to it. But we will see. No, no, no. Fight it. Fight it. Come on, get me. Get me. If I roll into it, then I can reduce my speed further. I'm trying to get the bodies to be recoverable at this point. But apparently I think I need some kind of alternative way of... Or more oxygen, oxygen storage, just in case this decides to happen again. Oh god. Nope. No bodies will be recovered from this wreckage. I salute these brave Kerbins. Well, at least I successfully landed on Minimus. Uh, back to the drawing board in the space plane hangar for a while, though. Well, everyone, thank you for watching. Yet another failure. But a close failure. And I did decent, I think. But I think at this point I just need more... Um... Zoxygen. I'll see. Or, or, or you know, some alternative uh, way of generating Zoxygen. I don't know. We'll have to see. So until next time... I'm Kelvin, signing off, I guess. Oh man, I feel so terrible. So close, but yet so far. Yep. Yep.